The future of flight took off with climate change on its radar. No jet fuel needed to take to the skies. In this case, just hydrogen. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch reports on the impact hydrogen-powered flight can have on our planet. Lightning McLean soars above Earth, hoping to save the planet one flight at a time. The plane runs on hydrogen, which emits only water, no carbon dioxide. The tech to make it possible, the brainchild of universal hydrogen. CEO Paul Aramenko says we've entered a new era of aviation with the successful test flight in early March. It's the largest airplane to cruise principally on hydrogen. Um, ever in, in history. The idea, though, is not new. There have been hydrogen airplanes. The first manned hydrogen airplane flew in the 50s. Hydrogen accessibility remained a barrier to widespread use. We don't have a way of getting the hydrogen from where it's made uh, to the airplane. Universal Hydrogen stepped in to solve that problem. So our big idea was um, instead of trying to build a fuel infrastructure for hydrogen that looks just like the jet fuel infrastructure today, um, let's turn hydrogen instead into cargo, into freight. Hydrogen modules that airports can easily handle using existing tools. Planes need to be hydrogen ready. Enter the conversion kit the company created for existing regional aircraft. Remove the prop engine, insert hydrogen fuel cell propulsion. Truly. Um, the cleanest fuel you can imagine. Dr. Chris Bataille with Columbia University's Center for Global Energy Policy says air travel accounts for roughly 3.5% of greenhouse gas emissions. But it's one of the fastest growing sectors. Aviation is just going up, up, up. Um, so we have to get that under control. We don't have to quit flying, right? So we, we do have to operate our aircraft more responsibly. We do need to change the fuels. Bataille says the tech exists, including hydrogen power and electric for short haul flights up to 900 miles. For longer flights, companies experiment with synthetic fuels that reduce emissions. But until climate-friendly power takes to the friendly skies on a large scale, Bataille suggests. If you can use Zoom like we're doing right now, do it. Until we can clean up the sector, it does help. Cleanup might start sooner than you think. Aramenko says Universal Hydrogen expects to be on the market with a 50 to 60 passenger regional airplane by 2025. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Sounds like they're onto something. Yeah, amazing technology. We clean. That's going to do it here.